Hi everyone, good evening. As a process of our training on ODK, they will be do dealing with uh, process questions and uh, how to do skip logic on ODK. Okay, I have two questions you can see on my screen, which can help us to understand more and better how to deal with uh, um, skip logic and how to deal with uh, those questions which need from us to make choice. Okay. Uh, we have to start and um, our questions, we, we, we have to uh, fill our question under label here. And the first question is, how, how your household members, household members support you? Okay, that's our first question. And the way the question is fit, the question is fit can help us now to um, know how to put under name. Let me say that household support as name household, household, household support. And here, because it is a question which asks us to make a choice, we have two options and here. I have the choice to use select one or select multiple. Let us use select multiple here. Yeah. And uh, after on the second question, you can use select uh, um, one, select multiple. And after filling um, select multiple, you have to copy that one and go and paste it here. Okay. Um, because it is um, um, a choice question. Uh, which asking me to make a choice, I have to go on a choices sheet. Okay. Okay, under this name, what I copied from, from survey sheet, I have to paste it here. And here I have three choices. I have to put it three. Like that one is a financially support. Surely. Support and two. I have manually support, manually support the three of Hada and Hada. Okay, okay. And that question is uh, if other specifier how to go back here yeah, and fill that if a specified okay. as a name I can see other specified other specified and here um, I think I have to use text because when the respondent will specify, will specify, I have to write what is specified, then text will help me. And now, <clears throat> this question is a um, uh, choices question, choice question, and I put, uh, I put it, I fill it like that. Now, this part and this part, the last part is a, I have, I need to use what I'm calling skip logic. That like, uh, that question is not compulsory. Uh, if the person choose financial support, uh, I want to make it the way this question will not come if it is not other the person uh, choose. And this question will come only if um, the respondents above choose other. So what I want to make it here. And uh, it is under that part, uh, under relevant, we need to do that. Yeah on that part okay relevant here i have to use dollar sign and now curly bracket equal now um, equal i have to yes okay equal what three Okay, why three? Three because it is three which is taking on uh, the part of other here. If it was four or two um, in front of other, it, it should be the that number I will be uh, putting in my my 
uh, those signs. And here I have also to put something, and that question under which there is other, I have to copy it and go back and uh, put it there. Okay. That means that this question, that question will come only if that was uh, the, the respondent choose uh, other three. If it is not like that, the question will be just be skipped. Okay, let us do location two. It will help. What other activity? Activities do you rely on as a source of income? Okay, then here, um, let me put other activity. Um, yes, other source. So income. Okay, because it is a choices question, as you can see, um, I have three choices, then I, I need to use also here. Select. Select. Let us use here select one because we have already used select multiple select one. And now I have to come and copy that one and go and paste okay i'll use that one also on that part how to paste also because i have three choices here i have to pull it three like that one is farming and the second is fishing and three is Okay, I have to go back on my survey sheet and say if other specify, if other specify, okay. Then I have also to put here other specifier's name. Okay. And because I want that one to be different from the one I have above, I, I, I have to put something which is making it um, different like I put two. And here, test also will help. Okay, that is that I have to go to code that one and say that, yeah, as I told you, we will be using dollar sign, the bracket now and the equal. Uh, here also, um, Ada is taking uh, figure three, okay. That we have to put something inside the curly bracket, and that one, see that one, we have to copy or to copy it like that and go and uh, put it inside. Okay, and what I have just done here means that if the person didn't choose other that question, that question will not come. Yeah, is what we are calling skip logic this uh, skip things which are logic okay thank you so much i think that uh, it will help you to understand more what is skip logic what how to fill out those options and uh, questions when we are dealing with dealing with excel as form and that one above uh, below here is my is my email address if you want to contact me for more information you want training or you have a questionnaire you want um has to put that one in Excel as form, everything. So you can, you have just to um, write to that email. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much.